Hi Jazzy Greens, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. This is the Christmas holiday tag slash questions because I asked you guys to ask me any question that anything, so I'm going to include it in this tag. And so if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Liz and I love doing tag videos, anything pertaining answering questions. And I got my cup of coffee, so I'm gonna take a sip before we get started. You guys like my mug? It says, nice list. And I tell you, I better not get any coffee on my blouse. Otherwise, <laughs> it won't be good, okay? Mm. This is regular coffee with hazelnut cream. It is so good, so good. Mm. One more sip. I just love my coffee. I just have to have it every day. Mm. Nice and hot. Okay, question number one. This is the regular tag questions. Dress up on Christmas or have a cozy pajama day? Well, I normally wear whatever I feel like wearing. I may want to wear my um, Christmas PJs, you know, my pajamas my uh, bottoms i might want to wear that not so much the top because the top is hot and i'm telling you when the oven is on and everything is cooking i just get those hot flashes i get so hot i just can't take it so <laughs> but no i don't dress up not unless i'm hosting a big big party which i'm not going to be doing that so just comfortable pjs casual you know clothing Number two, favorite part of Christmas dinner. Mm. Eating. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a favorite part of the Christmas dinner. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll think of one. Blessing, asking for the blessing of the food. My husband will do that. So that's the favorite part because, you know, we need to bless our food. Ask God to bless our food, I should say. He blesses it. Number three, have you done all of your Christmas gifts yet? Girl, please, I haven't even started. <laughs> I'm not gonna be buying a whole lot, just a few gifts. Um, we normally give to our general family. You know, a few people may give us a few gifts and we give them a few gifts as well. But we basically just deal with the general household family and then for the other family members we just give them cards you know that's pretty much what we have done for all these years and sometimes we'll you know give a gift to somebody else as well okay four what does christmas mean to you well we celebrate the birth of our lord jesus christ that's what it means it's all about him if it wasn't for him we would not be here so all the, this Christmas tree, the gifts, I mean, all of that is nice and fun and wonderful, but the real reason for Christmas is Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. Okay, number five, top three Christmas movies. Ooh, A Christmas Blessing, and I can't remember who is in that. Um, these actors. A Christmas Blessing, The Best Man Holiday, and do you know they have a new one coming out? Oh my gosh, on December 22nd. It's called uh, The Best Man, The Final Chapter. Get your tickets early, guys. I mean, me and my husband, we are going to see that movie. I love The Best Man. Did you guys see the one with yeah, the Best Man Holiday? That was good, I loved it, but it was sad at the end when Mia died. I, that part I didn't like. They, they made it real, real sad. I didn't like that part, but everything else around it, I loved it. It was just so beautiful, especially their home. You see that gorgeous home that Lance had? Woo! Wow, that was a mansion. It was just so many rooms and just the fun and the friendship and all of the festivities that they had with the friends it was just wonderful I, I love stuff like that i really do number six when does your family put up the christmas tree and who decorates it 
Well, I like to start decorating and putting up the Christmas tree pretty much the day after Thanksgiving, sometimes maybe a couple of days after that because I'm busy running around doing this, doing that. And with Vlogmas, I tell you, ooh, I'm still not finished decorating this tree. So when you see some of it behind me, it's not finished. I don't have the tree topper. I need some more ornaments. I haven't put the tree skirt on it, so it is not finished. But it just gives you guys something to look at behind me. Um, who decorates it? Of course, me. I decorate it. Now, Aaron, he likes to decorate the tree sometimes. And I told him, I said, no, 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 no. He was like, why? And Aaron is my son, for those of you who are new and don't know. I like to decorate. I mean, that's my thing. Now, typically, I don't really like decorating the tree. And I said that in my previous vlogmas. I don't because it's work and it's just, to me, it's not my best quality. You know, we all have things that we are best at decorating. Um, tree is not mine, but I'm, I'm trying to get better at it because I, I have to perfect it, you know, so that I can really like it. So I decorate it. Seven, what is your favorite Christmas song? Ooh, I have a lot of them, but the, the main one is Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night, the stars are shining bright. Wait a minute. Oh Holy Night, the stars are shining bright. You know, I can't remember the word. Is that the way it goes, guys? Oh, holy night. The stars are shining bright. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I just love that song. It's beautiful. So that would be number one, although I, I do have others, but that's my favorite. Number eight. Do you like eggnog? Ooh, no. Mm -mm. It's nasty. I tried it, and I just can't deal with it. <laughs> Nine. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Well, of course, my husband. I'm not going to say anybody else because I'm a married lady. So it would be under the mistletoe with my hubby. Yes, of course. 10. What's the first thing you do on Christmas Day? I get up and I thank the Lord for waking me and my family up to see a new day. If it wasn't for him, we would not be here. So I praise the Lord. I um, get up, I pray, <clears throat> I study the word, I read the word, and I have my daily affirmations, my confessions that I do. So I do all of that, that takes almost two hours. So that's the first thing I do before any Christmas festivities or anything. Number lost count okay okay we're done with the Christmas tag questions now we're gonna move on to the questions from you guys that I asked and it's only a few of you but a few of you had had several questions so this is fun I like this okay from this is a man named s s shy Okay, he had a few questions. Do you get a lot of comments about your eyes? Well, I think he must be single. <laughs> well, shy, S shy, I'm not single, I'm married. But uh, yes, I get a lot of comments about my eyes. Not so much on YouTube, um, I have, but um, it seems to not be as much as it used to be because people are not really looking at people that much. It seems like it, you know, but yeah, I, I have in the past and on occasion I will. So yes, what is, what is my strongest goal in life? My strongest goal in I have a lot of goals, guys. I'm not going to share everything, but I'm going to say the main one. The main one, but it's not the most important one, but it should be to be happy. My goal in life is to be happy. 
and have peace, I tell you, because this world is just crazy. And then with things we go through, with things in the world, situations with family, uh, <laughs> that's why I said what I said. So to be happy and have peace, that's it. Okay, what are your hobbies? Well, aside from decorating, as you guys know, I love, love, love decorating. That's my favorite one. Um, I love dancing. I used to be a ballet dancer when I was growing up. I did ballet, tap, jazz, and I did it for 11 years. And then after that, my body said, that's enough. I, you know, People thought I was going to become a professional. And I'm like, no, no, no. I didn't want to become a professional. I just loved it as a hobby. You know, from a kid on up, I just love it. It was just so much fun to do. You know, I could express myself through dance, you know. Um, I love running. I ran two LA marathons, 26.2 marathons and several 5K marathons. Um, now, I don't run anymore because um, i got physical difficulties and I really miss it guys don't know I miss running I love it running used to be my life okay running 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 uh, what else now there was another one I, I thought about while I was saying running marathons um, I love to sing now I don't like to sing around a lot of people I sing by myself or in the shower or in the car because I'm kind of shy <laughs> in case you guys didn't know that but yeah I'm shy um, there, you know what? There are more hobbies that I like to do. Oh, writing. That is the main one, too. I love to write. Now, I should be writing a book, and I have an idea about writing a book and what it's going to be called. But I've just been kind of lazy putting it off, but I think I should just do it. I love writing. I love to have journals, you know, those nice books. Let me show you. One of my subbies gave this to me. Writing in journals like this, just books. I love to do that. So I just love to write. Sometimes I'll take a poem or anything. If it's something really pretty that I like, I will just sit there and copy it down. Or I write my thoughts out or I write my um daily chores you know let's say for instance whatever day you're watching this the day i'm filming this is saturday so if i have a lot of chores to do i'll say saturday's agenda and then list them down that's how i do i just love to write so there's more hobbies but that's all i can think of off the top of my head i didn't write everything down okay question number two this is from my friend hazel hey hazel do you have family over for the holidays? And if so, does everyone bring a dish or do you do all the cooking? Sometimes we have family over, not like a real big, big uh, family gathering. You know, those days seem like they're over. I mean, ever since this pandemic and COVID hit, it just seemed like it changed everybody you know everybody's not getting together as they used to so we may have a few people come over sometimes three sometimes four sometimes one sometimes none it just depends on what everybody's doing everybody sometimes will go here or go there and they may stop by you know they may not stay stay so it just depends um and no pretty much i do all the cooking now, somebody may want to share their favorite pie with us so that we can have it or whoever's going to be here have it too. But mostly, I do all the cooking, Hazel. <laughs> okay. You have more questions. Wait a minute. I think that's it. Okay, hold on, guys. I got lost. Okay, her last one, do you exchange gifts? No, we don't exchange gifts. 
we just, if we're gonna buy it for somebody, we'll just do that and just hand it to them. Um, and they'll do that for us. But no, we don't gift exchange. But that is fun though. I used to do, to do that on my job, you know, when I was working, but not too much with family. Thanks, Hazel, for your questions. Those were fun. Okay, number three from Decor Home and Lifestyle, Allie. Hi, Allie. Okay, she wants to know. Now, okay, Liz, get it right. I did write your question right, Allie. Okay, how my husband and I spend our days um, or routines. How do we how do we spend them? Well, he helps me around the house. He's very good at helping me around the house, whatever needs to be done. I mean, he likes to vacuum, vacuum. Um, he'll wash the dishes. Um, we watch General Hospital every night. We tape it and we watch it. That's our time that we like to spend. And we just, sometimes we may decide to eat dinner and watch General Hospital, which we call GH for short, or sometimes we'll have a snack or just sit there and watch it. I mean, we love to watch GH. Um, we go grocery shopping together. Yes, we do. I don't really go grocery shopping by myself. We always go as a family. If not all three of us, then me and my husband. We always do. We always have done that. We've been married 21 years and we've always gone grocery shopping together. So that's what we do. That's our routine. We always do. Um, oh, also, when we bring the groceries home, not one of us would do them by ourselves unless one is too busy or someone has to do something else. We both share and put in the groceries away. So, and when Aaron is with us, we all do it as a family. So, it's a family affair all the time. Sometimes we will go with one another to each other's appointments, whether it be a doctor appointment, see if I were wearing my nails, which I'm not right now. Uh, sometimes he would go with me to that. Not all the time, but we just like being around each other and doing things together. So, that's pretty much how it is. And one other thing I'll share... Oh, the most important one, we laugh together. We always are laughing around the house. I mean, my husband has a wonderful sense of humor, okay? And he knows how to keep this happy family going. I mean, you know, it could be something silly or something I might have said or done. We laugh, we laugh, and it's very therapeutic. You know, we all need to laugh. I love, love to laugh. Sometimes when I'm not laughing, I'm like, you know what, I need to laugh. And sometimes I can't think of anything to watch, to, to laugh about, you know, but I love, love to laugh. Laughter is so important and it's very therapeutic. So thank you, Allie, for your questions. That was all. Okay, the one final one from Creations by Simone. What is a family tradition for you? and your loved ones on Christmas Day. Of course, we pray together for the food. Um, some families don't. Sometimes it's just one person that would do it, you know, but we, we pray together for our dinner and one of them, one of the men, not me, will get the presents under the, under the tree and bring them over and, and you know, give me mine and they get theirs. But I never go under that tree and get the gifts and give it to them. I mean, that wouldn't even look right, would it? So one of them will do that. And it's usually my husband, once in a blue moon, Aaron will do that. I mean, he's younger anyway. He needs to get down here on his knees and get these presents. But one last one I thought of that we do, Simone. We love to watch a Christmas movie sometimes. And now if the Christmas blessing is playing, or we'll just go ahead and search for it. We'll play that sometimes as well as, of course, my husband always has the game on. So even though I'm not really that much of, you know, basketball, football fan, all that, baseball, I watch it with him. So, you know, I'll sit there and watch the game with him. And if the Christmas movie is playing, he'll watch it with me as well. So that's pretty much the tradition that we do. But thank you so much for your question. You guys, this was so much fun. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I really did because you know, if you know me well, you know I love, love doing tags. Thank you all so much for your questions. And if you're new here, I'd like to welcome you to join the Jazz Green family. Click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and share it with somebody else, okay? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know you're new and welcome to the channel. You guys take care. Be blessed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you later. Bye.